The thing is, everything that we have is the grace of God. It's not that you are better than someone else because you deserve it. No, it's the grace of God. Yeah, you have families, probably some children, many children. I read stories like that. Everybody gone in an accident. It's not a choice. It happened. And then you have women who adopt a child or children, and the child is like their own blood. You see that sometimes. And to the point where the love that the child, the adopted child, has for the adopted parent is so strong that they almost look the same. Maybe as if the child was born from another woman, but the child belonged to them. You have heard stories like people who say, I want to adopt the child. We want to adopt the child. But when we saw um, the child in the crib, we knew it was our baby. You know, women say that. I saw this, the baby, I knew it was mine. It wasn't, it was an adoption process, but the way, the connection she has with the child, when she saw the child in the, in the adoptive uh, facility, I don't know how to say that, saw the child, that they were convinced, okay, they were convinced that the child was their child. And you can have a child that you adopt as we fight for you, that we love you with all his soul or her soul, if it's a girl, and we be on your side, like as if you carry them in the room. So what I want to say is simply that we as women, we don't need to judge each other because one didn't have a child the way, you know, or one had only one child, because you can have one child that was like five. I'm sorry, it's a fact, it's a fact. You can have one child and the child is doing so many things for the parent. One child is like, you have like five children in one, and you can have five children, or six, or even seven, None of them are connected to you. You have stories like that. The children are like, I'm sorry. And then you will see them, and then the, the, the family members will say, but you don't care about your pa, your, fa your mom, your dad. They're just not interested. They can be five, six, seven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just want to say that children first belong to God, and they are gift from heaven. They are gift from heaven. Every time that we wake up and we realize that some people are struggling to have one, it's a blessing for us to have children. We should pray on them every day, in the morning, in the night, and be thankful, being grateful, and pray for their destiny. They fulfill their destiny. It's very important. When you understand that being pregnant is a favor and the grace of God, we will have more compassion for the woman who are struggling to have at least one pregnancy or who are losing every time. I never experienced losing a pregnancy and I believe it's very difficult. I have a friend who went through that. She lost four pregnancies until the fifth one she had the baby the baby. Um how do you say that? Um me I was lucky. I probably have a child late because even children well she had a child late but anyway we yeah it was late in the normal you know but today you have women who are pregnant at fifty, you know, never give up never give up to have a child. Sometimes some women decide to go adopting, and when they adopt, because it was difficult for them to have children, like pregnant, when they adopt, it's very special. It's like something happened, they won't, they become pregnant after the adoption. Life is just a mystery. We don't understand how work, how God's work.
sometimes you'll be like, oh, this woman, she has a strange lifestyle. You know, like no judgment, but you, you know what lifestyle we see, you know, like sometimes she can be a sex worker and, you know, and she has children. When the woman in her house doing all the right things cannot conceive, you see the mystery of life. Life is a mystery and you understand that only God has the last decision. And if you are pregnant today and you watch this video, I encourage you to pray every day on your child. And if you are raising someone else's children in your responsibility, it will be good to pray for them every day. Because you don't want that the child have a strange destiny become something that you don't know, you know. You have people who grow out to be something that the parents don't know, spiritual realm. We have to pray for our children every day, every day. So yeah, let's be compassionate and be and loving each other the way we are. Anyway, thank you for watching.